We start this evening with this search for a missing British teenager on the Spanish island of Tenerife. Jay Slater disappeared after a night out with his friends on Sunday. The conspiracy theory is going round as to what's happened to Jay Slater. Drug dealing gone wrong, kidnapping, GoFundMe scams, just to name a few. Right now in the UK, there's a viral missing persons case involving a guy called Jay Slater, which has caused a certain section of the British public who, let's just say, aren't the smartest of cookies to make conspiracies and like plans to save him in a Facebook group, which has produced gems like this. I know it might sound stupid, but has anyone tried ringing his phone in case someone's taken it and they've put it on charge or something like that? Apparently, according to this Mandy, someone's taken his phone, yet he's gonna he's gonna be able to check the texts or the calls. <coughs> to be honest, Mandy, I doubt the Moroccan drug dealer that's taken him is gonna like charge his phone and like give it back to him to have a gossip and not, you know, throw it off some sort of like fucking desert or mountain or whatever. Here's another very, very intelligent theory. Please look in the shaded areas. He, he is just hiding under some sort of tree. He definitely hasn't been captured and taken and hidden in the desert somewhere on some cactus or something. Has anyone tried emailing Jay in case he has internet X? Maybe he just not. What a bloody sentence. Maybe he just not. You are making a lot of sense, love. You, that is A-level grammar. You know, my English teacher, she'd be an aura you, yeah. So can't get calls but maybe internet so mate someone try email him you know that is a smart theory i reckon you know when he is surrounded by like you know dodgy ball geezers he's just gonna think let me check me spam folder that is gonna be his first fault jay mate jay just check your spam folder so sounds a bit stupid but has anyone tried shouting for him I think she is this right this area, you know. I think they have the cops been using a little bit too much sign language and maybe playing a little bit too much raucous Chinese whispers. Has anyone tried the dating apps in Tenerife? If he isn't answering texts, maybe someone can swipe right on him and contact him if they match. Because that is what Jay Slater is thinking. If he ain't dead, let me check me bumble matches for a girl like Robin. That is his first priority. <laughs> I mean, she is blonde, so maybe that's why, but oh, you can't be this stupid, seriously. Like, like, surely you've watched some sort of Sherlock at some point, Robin, to at least have some sort of, you know, wisdom, or... Come on, come on. I'm wondering if he got tired and went for a lie down somewhere. Maybe he went in a hut with animals to, 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 stay, to stay dry. To, to, stay, to stay dry in Tenerife, Spain. You are a fucking intelligent one. You know what? I actually reckon we should get her on the weather, you know, the weather reports and that, because a lot of them get it wrong as well. So maybe, you know, maybe you're saving a bit of money there, ITV. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong there, but... Here we have Dave Veer Jenkins offering out his dog. Does anyone know how easy it is to get my ferret dynamo to Tenerife? He has a very good sense of smell. I and a photographic memory. Sorry, mate. So sorry, David. This is like quite kind of off topic. But how how do you know if your 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 dog has a photographic memory? Like, do you, can you like see inside its brain or something? He actually does have like some sort of bionic dog. So maybe this is actually a good offer in here. David's actually wrote this bollocks and thought people are gonna believe it. Like, oh come on, Jenkins, mate. In 2024, it is not Sherlock Holmes anymore. It is Steve Miller, who has said, I've just spent the last six hours on Google Maps zooming in on the satellite view to see if I can find him. I've only just realised that it, I was zooming on Lanzarote and not Tenerife, for fuck's sake. Don't beat yourself up, Steve, yeah? Every top detective makes mistakes, yeah? You were nearly there. I mean, it is a lot more helpful than the other suggestions. So at least you have, you know, tried, Steve. All right, it's okay, for it's all right. I think it's important to explain because I've got like a decent amount of American following that this guy is actually in fact a criminal. You might be confused by what I mean by that. Uh, basically he was involved with seven other people which I'll show on screen in a incident where he basically nearly killed a, a fellow UK teen and um, if you thought the UK weren't stupid already they've donated 30k to a a GoFundMe for this guy, knowing all of this. 
Yeah, like I swear to God, you know, I'm British, but we're one of the stupidest, you know, places on earth. Like there's plenty of other missing cases out there. And yeah, we've donated 30K to this guy who, who nearly killed someone. It is mental. I had to explain that because, because of the next thing I'm about to show you. And no joke, I actually mean it this time. This is the stupidest thing I've seen. This might sound mad, but who else thinks it would be a good idea to have a pop concert in order to raise money and spread awareness like they did with Live Aid for the starving African babies, XXX. He's comparing a criminal going missing to, to Live Aid. To Live Aid, to African kids starving, and, and oh, it's just, he must be racist, he must be racist. This is a personal favourite of mine. Do you think Yut would be me, worth me going as I'm in a power chair, so I'll be limited to what places you can go? <laughs> the bottom comment's even funnier. No, stay at home and stay safe, please. Too many people could end up looking for more people. You stay at home, hun, and just share. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I know he means well and, you know, he just wants to offer out his services, but I really don't think you in your power chair, you know, if they can't find him with all the, you know, the sniffer dogs and all the shit they've been using, I'm sorry, Teddy, mate, I'm sorry to let you down, but I don't think you're going to be much of help here, lad. Like, hi, my, my wife Beryl is wondering if it's worth us sending a gift basket to UK Embassy in Tenerife, see if he is staying there or if he makes it his way back there. We've got some pepperamis and Chris, not sure what flavors does anyone know what he likes we can go to asda <laughs> oh my god oh no it's just peak stupidness i can't even be asked anymore he's offered him and his wife services to go and get some pepper armies because that's going to help jay who's probably like dead in a ditch or you know something of that like or he's at least been through trauma i don't think he's gonna you know i know there are a lot of like pepper army ads on twitter but i don't think he's gonna be really in the mood mate like he's actually like he's fucking getting some resources for sports day or something like I, don't, I just don't understand. I think this is a joke, I'm pretty sure. Just a thought, so don't attack me, Hans X. Anyone think he would make, he maybe wanted to be transgender and should start looking for a woman called Jane? Hope he found something. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It's also important to note that one of the main theories of this Jay Slater case is that he's he was involved in like some drug organization or obviously we know about his criminal past. I, I don't know, but apparently his last sighting was actually with some like sketchy, you know, drug looking bald geezers. So I think this is actually maybe the, the most pathetic post and that is saying something. Why are you crying? Because he is in the mountains crying for help, tired, hungry, skinny and sick praying someone is going to shout his name and he will be saved obviously like she is on the right track it is kind of sad i won't lie but you know your, your bird she is losing sleep over a literal criminal like these girls will find any way to you know probably because she finds him attractive really or something like it's like those birds, you know, the ones that, you know, fantasised about Ted Bundy. It is, well, not, not the same. Obviously, I'm, I'm exaggerating there. But you get what I'm saying. You get the point I'm trying to make. This Ellie Louise girl, yeah, she has got her priorities straight. Please, can we pause this group until Love Island's finished? You bald geezers out there, you stop what you're doing until she's finished watching Love Island. There could be a fucking couple up fallout let next week. Don't you dare rob her of seeing that, all right? My grandmother is psychic. She said she connected with Jay and he's no longer with us. She said he was with a grandfather figure. The name Frank comes through. And Charlie with the iconic response of your grand's been on the cat. To any Brits, you'll get this, but the Americans, this will go over your head. But uh, Theo Ogden, 23 from Bolton, <laughs> lives in London, is known to police for causing trouble at football matches across the UK. He, he, he is linked with violent drug cartel members in Tenerife. So he is a highly likely suspect. <laughs> Also, I think like this is irrelevant to anything I've said, but the Thogden hate needs to be studied because pretty much everything like this, there's always a meme about Thogden. And uh, I do feel a little bit sorry for the bro bloke. Like he just watches football and makes sometimes overly outrageous thumbnails. But other than that, he's not done anything too wrong. But 